สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai PBS English News Service. I'm Rung Thip Chot Aparai. The Parliament has um, gave its approval for the reconciliation plan for the purpose by the House Committee on Reconciliation to be considered further in the Legislative Assembly. 364 MPs voted for this reconciliation plan to proceed further, while only 13 MPs disagreed with the plan. General Son Thip b u n y a r a k a r i n Chairman of the House Committee on Reconciliation, we propose the research on the reconciliation plan to the House of Representatives on April the 4th. The parliamentary meeting intensively debated the reconciliation plan proposed by the House Committee on Reconciliation. General s u n t i b u n y a r a k a r i n Chairman of the committee, says the reconciliation plan should be urgently considered in order to bring unity and peace back to the country. Meanwhile, opposition leader Apisit b e c h a s h i w a says the committee should reconsider their plan as he sees that the plan has been partially rewritten, especially the part that states. That amnesty is the way to reconciliation, and the plan could trigger a new conflict. During the parliamentary meeting today, a visit asked the reconciliation committee's chairman, General s o n t i to clearly state the purpose of the reconciliation proposal, and state if the committee has changed the results of the research studied by King p r a c h a t i p o k s Institute. Before the House Speaker allowed the MPs to vote on this issue, some MPs approached General s o n t i to ask him about the reconciliation plan, causing tension throughout the rest of the meeting. But finally, the Reconciliation plan was approved by Parliament after MPs had debated the issue for two days. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Ying l a k s h i n a w a t indicated that the Parliament is the stage where MPs can express their opinions. She also says it's unusual, it's usual that some might have disagreed with the reconciliation plan, which she insists has to be considered in more detail before putting it into action. The reconciliation plan will be proposed to the Legislative Assembly on April 4 t h and will be discussed for two days. A detached trailer on m i t t e r p a r k Highway last night resulted in a 16 vehicle pile up. Three people died and 21 more were injured. The accident occurred late last night on the Bangkok b a l side of the m i t t e r p a r k Highway. The trailer of an 18-wheeler suddenly became detached and caused the following vehicles to suddenly stop. Some of the vehicles behind could not brake in time, including another lorry, which resulted in a 16-vehicle pileup. Three people died and at least 21 more were injured. Some of the dead and injured had to be cut off. Cut out of their vehicles by the emergency services, c h a y a p o n Bamrab, driver of the lorry which l o t s his trailer, claims his brakes didn't work. His vehicle then skidded, and the trailer section detached and blocked the highway. Police have charged him with negligent driving, leading to other people's death and injury. Police cannot yet identify the cause of the fireworks factory explosion. However, the s a b r i governor has ordered an envi env environmental assessment and evaluation near the explosion site. s a b r i governor t a w o n Pomichai ordered local authorities to collect samples of soil and water from various sources within a one-kilometer radius of the Pacific Fire Factory, which exploded yesterday. The province is worried there there will there will be a spread of chemical substances, possibly dangerous to the to, to the public following the blast. Initial reports have not yet found any contamination, and further investigation will be conducted. Luckily, the factory is surrounded with big trees, which help filter spread of material from the blast. Yesterday, explosions at the factory set off fires in its five warehouses and forced nearby residents to flee. According to a police official, no casualties were reported. The cause of the incident remains unknown. However, a police investigation is underway. Some fireworks experts suspect suggest that the hot weather could ignite the fireworks and fireworks materials, which were imported from China. 
Moving on to the water management plan, the lack of detail in the government's budget allocation for flood prevention projects has triggered concerns that it would leave room for graft. Additionally, the anti-corruption network has advised that the government's special procurement method is also prone to corruption. Here's more from Kun Bandit Gert Bandit. Following last year's deluge, the government has earmarked 350 billion baht in loans for flood prevention projects, which accounts for roughly 15% of the government's 2012 fiscal expenditure. Despite the huge amount of money, the detail of the appropriation is merely 20 lines long, making it the shortest detail of a state budget allocation in the country's history. The lack of clear directions in the procurement process, combined with the government's special procurement method, makes the 350 billion baht spending prone to graft, while at the same time limiting competition among prospective suppliers. The special, so-called special method, which uh, of course is that is a major concern because uh, that means that the, the, the government agencies can pick any particular uh, suppliers or contractors based on uh, based on on their judgment and of course that that is the concern of all the group here that uh, the special method are the area that can really be be a cause of uh, of the some uh, certainly uh, corruption the special procurement method will allow the government to select suppliers as fast as three days, or five times quicker than the electronic auction method. The method would also not force the government to disclose any information to the public and waive the need for having a third party scrutinize the process. For greater transparency, the anti-corruption network suggests that the government appoint outside specialists to determine standard procurement prices, make that information available to the public, and investigate suppliers to ensure that they are competent. This is Bandit Gut Bandit, reporting for Thai PBS. And supported by the government from today, Thais can purchase the latest insurance policy covering floods, storms and earthquakes. The latest insurance policy, which is part of the government's initiative to boost public security against natural disasters, has now been adopted by 54 insurance companies nationwide. The new policies compensate for damage from floods, earthquakes and storms. Buyers are advised to check details of the insurance with reputable insurance agents. Meanwhile, the PM, the, M, the PM Today signed an MOU with Berevin Public Health Agency to ensure that, as of the end of this month, emergency patients will, who hold a universal health care card will be able to receive free and fair medical services at any hospital they are admitted to. In the past, they would either be transferred to, to their registered hospital or share a certain amount of the medical cost. The Geo Informatics and Space Technology Development Agency, or GISTA, a national agency in collaboration with partners, has used space technology, or satellite imagery, to develop the recent flood forecasting and water monitoring system, which will be fully operational by mid-year. Japan, as one of Thailand's partners, has shared the basic concept of the master plan for flood control operations as Japan experienced severe disaster like the tsunami, which triggered deadly floods last year as well. The special advisor to the UN Secretary General's Advisory Board on Water and Sanitation explained that the massive floods were caused by the poor weather forecasting system and water management, as well as there being no single part of command in the government. He suggests that if the government can use the data from the satellite pictures as a disaster damage map wisely, then they can make accurate decisions during a critical situation. So if the government has more tools and the information to make use of, then I think that uh, the, for the next flooding, the Thai government can do much better. The chairman of Surrey Satellite Technology Limited of England has explained that now space technology allows people to observe the Earth through the satellite imagery. It can be used for the agricultural and maritime surveillance as well. 
and rather like you network a PC and that becomes much more powerful, by joining the constellation of satellites we can monitor disasters much more quickly, much more regularly and get much quicker updates on what's happening. Meanwhile, Dr. Virupong Ramangun, Chairman of Strategic Committee for Reconstruction and Future Development, says the committee will apply space technology to improve the disaster warning system for Thailand, though the amount of cloud cover in Thailand could be the obstacle in using the satellite technology. This is Gangon Raktam, Thai PBS. The, minim the minimum wage uh, will be raised to 300 baht next week, next month. And uh, earlier I spoke to uh, Professor Pai Pon Kumsa from Thammasat University. Here's more. That would make things worse, really, you know, for inflation in particular. Uh, although uh, that, that will, you know, increase the, the amount of money in the pocket of uh, a number of workers, particularly the, the new entrants in particular. Mm. But that would cause uh, an increase in the cost of production in uh, many uh, businesses. Mm. Uh, and that will worsen or would affect adversely mm. uh, the small and medium enterprises because they, they would be the one who cannot really you know, uh, cope with mm. these increases. They either would have to pass it on to the consumers by increasing their prices or reduce their production Mm. Or, you know, they might have to close down. Apart from public buses and taxi requesting approval to raise fares, Bangkok Subway is now demanding an increase in its ticket prices. Mass Rapid Transit or MRT is proposing to increase its fares by 2%. The change would apply to the entire length of the MRT system from Wollongpong to Bangsu Station, which spans a total of 21 kilometers. The proposed adjustments are again being made to reflect rising fuel prices. The proposal will be forwarded to the Mass Rapid Transit Authority of Thailand. The concessionary for consideration, the MRT carries an average of 300 thousand passengers per day. Bangkok mass transit system or the SkyTrain on the other hand has no plans as yet to adjust its ticket fares. Nevertheless, the BTS will begin collecting transport fares from Arnut to Bearings and um, stations starting this May after the newly added section was opened for public testing in the middle of last year. Currently, BTS has more than 600,000 passengers per day. Up to roughly 100,000 uh, 100, passengers were compared with last year's figures. The Engineering Institution of Thailand, or EIT, suspect that the collapse on Rama 4 Road could have been caused by a hole in a water tunnel under Rama 4 Road, which allowed water from Satorn Canal to flow into the tunnels. EIT says they have to inspect the course of the sinkhole further. So this is Assistant Professor in Geotechnology technical engineering field of EIT had explained the structure of the water tunnels to the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration or BMA, Metropolitan Water Works Authority and Mass Rapid Transit Authority of Thailand with the aim of creating mutual understanding on the water tunnel system so they can jointly inspect the collapse of part of Rama 4 Road further. EIT initially suspects that a small hole in a water tunnel under Rama 4 Road which was found by the BMA might be the cause of the collapse on Ramapho Road. During the road's construction, the dredging could have caused a hole in Ramapho Tunnel so the water from Satorn Canal located nearby could flow into the tunnel. The subcommittee of EIT is asking all related organizations to inspect the damage of Ramapho Road in more detail and to discuss the results together. EIT says the inspection will be completed by next week.
We end tonight with the um, news of the Margaret Smith, uh, wife of Professor Boy Eun Pa Gon, former governor of Bank of Thailand, who passed away at the age of 93 years old in the UK. Margaret is known as an influential figure in terms of democracy. And this la is the last week that we will be on air at this time. From next week, Taipei based English news will be on air from 11.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Thank you again for watching. สวัสดีค่ะ